What is going on, y'all? It's your man, Mike Titan, the gaming savant, bringing y'all the first inaugural episode of my new series on my channel. I'm starting for Freestyle 2 Street Basketball, no hot sauce or AO, or skip to my Lou included. And if y'all know where I got those names from, then y'all the real MVP, and y'all know what was possibly the greatest street ball league ever was but this is freestyle two street basketball i know y'all saw me play this on my last joining the master race episode i've been playing this game so much that i wanted to go ahead and start doing a series on my channel for it mainly because i just love playing the game like i said this is pretty much if you can get two other friends and play this this will be just like you know uh, uh my park on 2k just with different controls and on the pc i personally like this more than my park on 2k i feel like it takes Takes actual skill to play this game like you gotta you gotta be able to time your shot right you gotta be able to time your blocks right you get it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff that y'all may have seen in my last gameplay but today we are just going over the basics of this game and what I mean the basics is pretty much what everything you see on screen and then the next couple of screens means when I first started playing this game I had no idea what the hell was going on I didn't know what a card was I didn't know what a toy was didn't know what a freestyle was and there is a very active community on the Game Kiss forums uh, for this game. If I remember, I'll put it in the description below. But I couldn't necessarily find like like what I was looking for, like you know what each thing does. So as y'all see, I'm at a level 20. I've been playing this game pretty much for I got about 22 hours clocked into this in about a week and a half. So I've been playing like two or three hours a day, sometimes maybe four on my off days. So we're just going to go into the basics so I could just teach y'all what I didn't know. So if you somehow come across this video and want to play this game, you can know and be informed, you know, kind of like I wasn't. But, you know, I got y'all. So this is the achievement. So this is kind of like, you know, achievements on Xbox and PlayStation. Pretty much you got stuff specifically for your uh, character. I'm a power forward. So most of my stuff is about rebounding, defense, stuff like that. And then these are the rewards you get. Also, this game rewards the hell out of you. Um, this is the gift box. Whenever you get your rewards, some of them will come here. Uh, some of them will, I don't have it up yet. So this is your daily quest, which, okay, it's lagging. All right, let me join. Let me enter a channel. Also, what I like about this is that they got the uh, lobbies into different channels. So rookie channel is one through 11, major channel is 23, 12 through 23, and pro channel is 24 through 39, and pro channel two is 24 through 50. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually enter pro channel one, even though I'm only level 20, but it'll tell you like this channel is for players who are higher level than you, you will play higher level players. I've done that a couple of times. It's really not that much of a difference. All right, so this is the first screen that you get whenever you log on into and get into your person. Um, I'll go start up here. So these three stuff, this is pretty much like modifiers or boosters because you get points and experience to the game. Paco 15 invited you. Uh, hold on, Paco, I'm recording the video. <laughs> My bad, Paco. I get, I get you in a second, bro. Um, so this is the golden bell this pretty much gives you additional experience and points usually this only lasts for like 20 minutes or 15 minutes depending on how long so it's like kind of a short time thing that you just do doing a play session this right here is a sponsor this will uh do like a hundred percent or 200 percent and you get extra points or experience right now i have it for experience so i literally leveled up from like level 17 to 20 last night in like probably six or seven games right here is a vip membership now i don't know how much this costs but I do know you got to pay real money for it. Um, these are the benefits. You get a uh, point buff, extra skill slot, uh, evict feature, whatever that means, and then a VIP mega headphone. Now, right here, this is your currency for the game, or two of the currency. I'll show you all the other ones in a second. Points. Pretty much think of this like my team points from 2K. So you use these points to buy stuff. You can buy skills, clothes that I'll show you guys later. Right here is Gcash. This is real money. So $5 is 500 Gcash, $10 is a thousand and so on uh, so this is what you use there are things in the game that you got to use to spend real cash on like clothes and hair and stuff and then also buying the special characters which I'll probably go over in the next video because this is probably going to be a long video but you know you don't have to spend money to play this game this is a free to play game like I've literally only spent five dollars like that's all I spent and I've only bought like an extra spin wheel which I'll show you guys that in a second too um so like I said, over here, this is your quest line for the day. And let me see something. 
mug is lagging. I don't wanna, there we go. So this is your daily quest. So all these things right here, you get daily. So stay logged in for an hour, play 10 matches, play with friends, win a match, play an AI mode. And then you level up this bar and you get daily reward boxes. So you get two bronzes, a silver and a gold if you can get to all 100. And you can literally, you could probably do all this in probably about two hours, maybe less than that. You know, you get you like two friends, you'll get this done. You'll eventually win a match because it's easy to win a match on this game. If you got good teammates, uh, stay logged in for an hour. You can literally just log in and just go do something for an hour and come back um, and then play an AI match. That only takes about five minutes, so that's not that bad. Right here is the messenger. Um, you can see which one of your friends online. Y'all see I'm a crew. My homeboy Paco provided me to a game, but I'll get to you in a second, bro. <laughs> and uh, you can see who's in your crew if they want to play. The mailbox. This is where you get gifts and messages and stuff, but I've already got those, so they're not there. So moving on down here. This is the shop. This is where you would spend most of your money. As you see, you get different clothes, hair. They tell you what's the best um, new stuff they suggest for you. And you can literally customize pretty much anything on your person. You can give him different clothes. I can give him this shooting star jacket if I had the points. You know, you can change it. They got different colors for each outfit too. You know, go to pants, give him some plaid pants, some shorts, white shorts, some cargo jeans. You can do the same thing with shoes. If you want to change up his shoes, go over here. You can change his hair. Wait, what is that? Huh? Hold on, I didn't load up correctly. There we go. Game is tripping for a second. So you can give him different hair. Give him a high box fade. Give them that, you know, surfer dude hair. Give them some hats. There's a lot of a lot of customization features on here. You know, you can, you can get some pretty crazy stuff. Like, if you've watched a video of this game or played this game yourself, you know you can get some pretty crazy combination people wearing, like, matador suits and wearing, they got, like, Bulls, not actual Bulls and Lakers jerseys because they, I guess they don't have the right to use their name. But, uh... You know, it's like their version. Like, it, you could tell it's a Chicago Bulls jersey, even though it doesn't say Bulls on it. Right here, uh, this is stuff that you can buy. Like I said, some stuff you got to buy with real money, some you can buy with points. I'll go over freestyle in a second. Item boxes, magic balls, all this other stuff right here. So, mileage. So, here's what mileage is, from my understanding. So, whenever you buy Gcash, you get mileage. So, you have to buy enough to get the stuff in this right here. I mean, None of this stuff really interests me personally, but it's kind of cool they give you stuff back for spending money with the game to kind of entice you to spend more money. Um, I'm guessing Sakun or Sakan Sakun is a company that they've made specifically stuff for uh, this game. So, you know, they got different stuff right here. All right. Next. Excuse me. All right. So we got Magic Ball. Pretty much what Magic Ball is, is this is a like randomized thing where you got three different ones. You get point, card, and item. Item being the best because you can get like very cool items that you can't buy. Like I don't believe you can buy any of this stuff. You just have to win it here. Um, so it's a randomizer. So I'll show y'all one just because I got so many. So here it is. You want to pick a ghost. You can pick a goal. You can go random or you can pick one. We'll do number three. And they shoot the ball, swish, and then it randomizes what your prize is going to be. And I win a 100-point card, which sucks. But that's pretty much, you know, the gist of it is that you, you it's pretty much like lottery. Like, you know, you, you put a magic ball, you put a magic card ball in and then you just randomly get one of the prizes. Very cool right there. Uh, skills. Pretty much what I would equate this to. Think of these like uh, badges from my player or my team. So you can give your person different skills. Now, as a big man, of course, uh, they get these are the skills that they gave me when I first started out. So I got I can dunk at will, um, success, dunk success, uh, post shot focus, and dunk focus three. Now, all these over here are the ones I bought, and you see you can get a maximum up to let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. 13 slots you have to buy these extra four but you get nine for reaching level 50 because that's the level cap and it looks like you get two more if you're a vip as well so you can put some crazy stuff on your person so i got stuff like double double crossover um double post fake manual block which is a godsend uh dunk dunk at will 
a little hook shot, tip in shot, box out. So that's pretty much what that is. You can give your stuff and then you can come over here and you can buy stuff. Of course, you got to level up. Now, this is going to be different depending on what uh, what position you got. If you have a point guard, they'll have like specialized shots, specialized crossovers, things like that. Like one of the most prettiest things I've seen in this game, if somebody does like a double crossover, act like they're going to drive and then do a step back shot and just drain it in your face. That's like one of the most prettiest moves I've seen in this game. And you know, I've seen people execute that to perfection. There's also, in my opinion, that you may see in my next video when I give y'all some gameplay, a kind of cheesy move where the people are like do a double crossover then they'll do a spin back to the three point line. But if you know that it's coming, you can easily block it. So next for freestyle, freestyle, I pretty much explained this kind of like game breaker from like, uh, you know, NBA Street or NFL Street to a certain extent. Pretty much you got to do, you got to meet a certain criteria and then you get a special move. So right here, I get a long distance behind the back dunk. To, to have this activate, I have to make four mid-range shots. So I got to make, they don't have to be in a row. They don't have to be, you know, back to back to back. I Just during the game, anytime, I just got to make four mid-range shots. And then what I happen is that a little green like a green, uh, how can I put this? A green bar or a line will go across the, the area where your uh, thing takes effect. And then you just go there and just do a dunk like normal, but instead he'll do the behind the back dunk. So that's pretty cool. Right here, you can draw for freestyles. You can get uh, two tickets and then you can draw one or you can draw 10. I, I racked up a lot. Also for freestyle, you get one freestyle card every three games you play. So if you play three games and after you complete that third game, you'll get a free, you'll get a free freestyle card. And then you can also buy them for like 2,000 points. They're not that much. Um, also, let me see if I can read this up. All right. So also they have different levels to this. So you have level one, two, three, and four. The only difference is, is that it takes less to do that thing. So for this one, for instance, I have to attempt three mid-range shots to have this one activate. If I had a level four, I would only have to attempt two and so on. And that's usually how it is. They just decrease it the more higher level you got. Uh, next, ceremonies. These are pretty much taunts. So after every made basket in this game, you can hold the W, A, S, or D button, and you can do a taunt. Now, these are the base taunts that they give you. Um, so, or ceremonies, I should say. I'm just going to call them taunts. And then, you know, there are ones that you can buy for real money. Then there are ones that you can, uh, you know, unlock with points. You know, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, pump up the volume. Uh, dirty dancing. Uh, that's that's gay. I'm not going to. Wow. That's I'm not going to look at that. And then <laughs> you have ball action. So before the game, um, you know, they got little uh, little animations that your players do. So you can do you can buy this or you can get it to have your person do a, a, a specific animation uh, before the game starts. Same thing with free action. They'll do the same thing. Um, the same thing happens before the game starts. They'll do a little specific animation. So, yeah, and I think this may also be uh, based on character as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I have seen some animations that I haven't been able to do that I've seen like point guards and shooting guards do. So over here under character, this is where they pretty much give you all the bases on your character. Um, I'm a level 20. This is my crew, power forward, power type, yada, yada, yada. Um, over here is your attributes and I got oh I got six points available. I'll use those in, in the next video So pretty much this is where you level up your character Now, let me see something. Okay So once you get through the first five levels of this as you see I got my tussle block rebound speed and stamina all the way to first thing on level five So it's gonna cost three points now to upgrade those The only thing that kind of sucks about this is that you only get two points every time you level up So once you get something to level five, you know, you're gonna have to probably wait like two or three levels before you can uh, level up or Sometimes I think there is a way you can pay for points. I'm not a hundred percent hundred percent sure because I haven't I don't really want to do that I want to level my person up the natural way But you know you can if you want to and then suggestion here is tussle uh, for my big man pretty much that means that uh uh, it gives he, he's gonna have a better chance to get in position to get rebounds. So that's all that means And you know, you know, you got your team matchup So this is my overall games that I played, you know, you get a nice little average or summary of all the points that you scored Then they got a little ranking system too, but I don't think I played enough games to qualify for that 
All right, over here in the locker. So right here is pretty much everything that you gained, whether it be clothes, you know, daily. I got some daily boxes I haven't opened from last night. Uh, it's gonna be here in your locker. So like I said, I can do this. And the cool thing about it is like, hey, you got three uh, remaining three point coupons. Do you wanna open those? Yeah, open all those up, bam. Same thing with the boxes. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much your locker. It's pretty much like a locker. It just keeps your stuff in it. Right here, you have the crew menu. So this is the crew menu uh, for whatever crew that you're in. It'll show all the people uh, available for here, your crew record, and then you can do a ranking of all the crews online. And uh, you see there is quite a few. A lot of people play this game. All right, so cards. So this is one of the things that helps you uh, boost certain stats on your player so you get an offensive card defensive card and a talent card so for offense i have a card that had that increases my post shot by three defense it increases my rebound by three stamina it increases my stamina by three and then you have other cards too which you can get and that's actually hold on let me see post shot temp i didn't short dunk three point resistance yeah we're gonna switch that out Okay, so then also what you can do if you have two of the same card because I, I don't have two of the same card You can go to upgrade and you can make an even better card So you see how they got these little stars like this one right here That's what I did with this one. I had two of this card and then I upgraded it and then it gave me a, a, a Extra star so now it's plus three rebound instead of plus two only thing that sucks Is that because I had this happen to me last night when I tried to do when I tried to upgrade two cards is that sometimes it fails. So if it fails, then one of the cards that you used like will disappear and then the other one would just go back to being normal. So that's the only kind of downside about this, but it's pretty cool. And then I'll say they got these things called books. So pretty much if you get three of any uh, any of these things, it'll give you a boosted, plus these will give you a boosted stat. So for instance, I had the fun of basketball. I had a, a boosted stat of three point middle shot, but I got rid of it because I got better cards. So over here is your toy. Now, the only way I could possibly think of this is just think of this as like your mini me. Pretty much what this does, you got all these different toys and they do different boosts. It's kind of like cards. You get a you get an offensive toy. Oh, I'll go up here for the three that I have. You get an offensive toy, defensive toy, and a talent toy. Now what you go here is you got levels so you can the maximum level you can get your toy up to is level 10 now to level up your toy you have to have a duplicate of it so say if i have two of these i could go here and then i could up, i can have his max level to level five but i still got to get him to level five and this is also um his battery or how much he likes you and pretty much down here it'll tell you uh how 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 much a percentage of the time that it'll activate now this this isn't always activated this from what i understand this only activates at certain times during the game um but you like you don't know when it activates that's the kind of thing that kind of sucks about it so uh you have different options to grow them you can use um okay well let me use him um okay so this is the one i'm using so i have a post mid shot success of one now also what i can do is i can you get an extra one and i can change what attribute i want him to boost so i can have him boost my short dunk long dunk whatever whatever you have so you can also boost them by using cards so i could uh Okay, so I could use all these cards even though I'm kind of not gonna use those to boost him to level three And then you also get toy goods, which is like a toy manual you put that on him, bam He gets he gains extra experience and then I could use batteries, but I already have him at 100% So to get these things what you do is you get these toy coins now you can buy these with the uh, points so You can get one for 1400 10 for 14,000 so on and so on and then you can come here and you can draw them. Now you can either click on one of these to get either a toy or a, uh, a manual or a battery to level up your toy, or you can click here. And I believe if you click this one, you automatically get one toy. That's at least what I've gotten because uh, that's what happened to me. So now right here is something I did not know about till about my third day playing the game, the tutorials. So 
all these tutorials will pretty much teach you the basics of the game the basic tutorial practice moving past jump shot drive post drive uh what a mark is pretty much just your defender that you got to stay on and then over here is you know all the skills that i showed y'all earlier that you can unlock you can test them out right here to get an idea of how they work so all the shooting skills all the driving skills all the pass rebound defense all that good other stuff so that's very good if you just want to learn the game come to the tutorials and you know you can just play and learn the basics of the game then right here you got the challenge mode pretty much what this is this is kind of like a uh well it's like what it says it's a challenge mode so you can pretty much do different challenges try to get a high score and then you get rewards too so if you get the first round you get 300 1000 so on and so on and yeah like i said that's pretty much the basis of the game um like i said it is a kind of a bit of a learning curve now you you can play this game with your keyboard um i believe the arrow keys is what you use to move and then of course you got the a w s d um what else there's another key on there i forgot there's another key but i forgot at the moment me personally i prefer using a usb controller so that's what i use whenever i play this game so if you ever see me playing this game I'm always using my USB controller. That's just what I feel more comfortable with when playing sports games. And yeah, so I want to thank y'all for watching. That's going to be it for the video. Just doing a quick basics video. So anybody who wants to play this game or hasn't played this game, you can watch this video and kind of get an idea of what everything in here does. Next gameplay, I'm going to have some gameplay, probably uh, change up my outfit a little bit, might open up some magic balls. <laughs> That's so awkward to say. That is so awkward to say. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank y'all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your man, Mike Titan. And I'm out this piece. Go.